Now, while I'm at it, I wanted to do a video about Frotch versus Groves 2. No prediction as such, just some thoughts because I'm kind of doing these news videos as you notice now. And every time I do these news videos, I keep hearing about Frotch and Groves and how the fight was stopped early and blah, 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 blah. Okay, but that's not what I want to focus on. I want to focus on some of the stories and some of the things that are being told about this fight, this rematch. And then I want you to think about this thing where they try and compare Ben and Eubank's rivalry with George Groves and Carl Froch. First and foremost, that Ben and Eubank is historical, right? And not only historical, you can't try and replace or try and beat that you can't try and beat a grudge match with another grudge match now the whole way Ben and Eubank was right Ben hated Eubank Ben could not stand Eubank he didn't just today didn't like Eubank it was something he didn't like for a while and Ben would be going to Eubank's fights and Eubank would be at Ben's fights you know this fight was going to happen Eubank wanted to be world champion Ben didn't like Eubank, so they got the fight on. And, you know, there was a whole build-up, the signing of the contract, the famous with Nick Owen, um, you know, all of that. And it was going to kick off, proper kick off, um, at the press conference where Ben was going to go for Eubank. You could see the absolute hatred, natural hatred, Nigel Ben had for Chris Eubank, okay? Now, Carl Froch and George Groves... As far as I'm concerned, this sudden grudge they've got against one another seems almost, maybe they, they dis, there's a slight dislike of one another, but it's no way the intensity that Ben and Eubank had for their first fight. Let's get this straight, right? And that was always going to be a big fight. And, and going into that fight, a lot of people thought Eubank was ready to fight Nigel Ben. Um, so... Whereas a lot of people didn't think George Groves was ready for 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 um for Carl Froch. Let's bring another point on here. They talk about oh well you know this is a massive 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 stadium we're going to be in in Wembley. Okay, maybe it's at Wembley, and we've got the new Wembley Stadium which wasn't available then. It was at the NEC the first fight. Um, the rematch I believe was at Old Trafford. But let's even look at Ben Eubank again. You've got two guys. Ben could sell out uh, an arena. And Eubank could sell out an arena. Both had contrasting characters. But both were personalities. Carfroch and George Groves are not personal. I'm not, no disrespect to any of those guys, right? They probably are nice guys. But in terms of personalities, you couldn't put those personalities and compare them with Ben and Eubank. So, in terms of personalities, no chance. Um, so, the comparisons there. Yes, big arenas don't sell personalities. You've got personality or you haven't. And Eubank and Ben's personalities, like I said, are, are you know, compared to Frotch and Groves. Again, it just doesn't hold any water. Um, and another thing. Ben Eubank 2. Frotch. Uh, Groves too. Ben and Eubank were both world champions. I believe Ben was the WBC champion and Eubank was the WBO champion. So when you put that in together, so there was two world champions coming out to fight. Um, Eubank was still unbeaten at the time and Ben had recently won the WBC championship from what I understand. Um, it was a massive fight. So the second fight was even better than the first one. Um, so, because Eubank was bringing some, Ben was bringing something more to the table. Um, WBC belt. What else can we talk about? Um, and even after that fight and the grudge match, after that, and let's take you back before then, if you remember, do you remember the, the show they had with, I believe, Jonathan Ross? The best of enemies. Before the big fight, both Eubank and Ben spoke about the first fight in detail in front of a live studio audience. Amazing! 
They're not going to do that for Carl Crotch and, and, and George Groves. They're not going to have the same captured audience. You know? And then after that, when Ben and Eubank had finished boxing, they had a third sort of like... Uh, was it like a joust or something they had? Like Ben Eubank 3 where they dressed up in armour and they, they you know, were dressed for, like gladiators. And you will never get George Groves and, and Carl Fox to do things like that. You know, so I don't... I think, you know, you're looking at a legendary rivalry between Ben and Eubank. And I don't think it's fair to compare Ben and Eubank to Carl Frotch and George Groves. I don't know if it's fabricated their dislike. But what Ben and Eubank had was real. It was real dislike for one another. And, well, Ben had real dislike for, 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 for Eubank. You know? And he showed in his fights. So... And even now, even though you see Ben smiling and, and shaking hands with Eubank and stuff, you still know that there's still that little glint in Ben's eye, you know, with Eubank. So, those are just my thoughts. So, when you keep keep hearing, oh, this is going to be the biggest boxing battle of British, all British history and all this nonsense. Yes, it's going to be in a big arena. Yes, it's at Wembley Stadium. And? Um... You know, what can I say? What can I say? That's just my thoughts on the whole Ben and Eubank. Let me know what you think. Do you remember when Ben and Eubank fought for the second time? Do you remember when they fought the first time? What was the atmosphere like for those two fights? Do you remember what happened between the two fights in terms of how they had to get back together to fight one another again? When Don King came over from America? and Do you remember the, the best of enemies? And that round table event where... Ben and Eubank had to sign the contract for the first time. The intensity. Do you remember all that? Actually, now go no watch. Go back in YouTube and watch that. And now watch the build up to Eubank. I mean to Frotch and Groves. The only thing is, you've got a younger version of Barry Hearn, which is Eddie Hearn's son. Other than that, really, honestly. It'll be a good fight. But um, I tell you what, I will say that the lines between Frotch Groves 2 reminds me of when Roy Jones fought Tava for the second time. You remember when Roy Jones fought the fight the first time? A just scraped past Tava. And a lot of, a, a lot of people thought that um, Tava had beaten Roy the first fight. And Tava was really mad with Roy for the second fight. And then the second fight, Rory got knocked out clean inside, I think, round two rounds. Could that happen to Carfrotch the second time round? And it's not like George Groves can't do it. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm out.